today uh, i shall discuss uh phrase different kind of phrase phrases and their structures a uh, phrase is uh, necessary both for english first paper and english second paper uh in the first paper uh when a student uh wants to uh write down a flow chart uh he must use different kinds of phrases in the boxes and in second paper especially in case of modifier a student uh will need different kinds of phrases a student uh, should know the structure of phrases and when they will use this phrases so uh phrases no doubt uh, are very important for any student uh so i uh, i shall discuss different kinds of phrases and their structures at first a uh, noun phrase noun phrase uh is used in uh, different uh cases especially uh, in flow chart in boxes and also uh in the second paper to so, uh structures uh at first uh noun phrase the combination of article plus noun and here a noun will be uh head word as for example uh the man is honest here uh the man is a noun phrase here uh man is head word and secondly there are another structure the plus adjective plus noun the old man died yesterday here the old man the article job old adjective plus a uh, man noun here the old man is a noun phrase here man is head word a noun phrase can be used both as a subject and object just like a noun another important phrase is infinitive phrase here a uh, structure is to plus a uh, present form of verb and other words an infinitive phrase is used to express a, a purpose or aims or some object in a sentence for example we can say i went i went to market to buy some books i went to market to buy some books here to buy some books is an infinitive phrase uh, uh to plus buy a present form of verb and some books are the words and um uh, there are a little different between infinitive and infinitive phrase infinitive means here we will see only two plus present form of verbs but when we add other words at last uh, this will be infinitive phrase and uh, infinitive phrase uh, can be used as a subject as an object to speak the truth is a good habit here to speak the truth is a infinitive phrase and it is used as a subject but when you say uh, i read attentively i read to pass the examination here 
to pass the examination is used as object. There are another uh, phrase, participle phrase. Participle phrase, uh, the, the structure of this phrase is, uh, we have to use, uh, add ing at the form, at the end of a verb. As for example, uh, and participle phrase is used uh, as an adjective. For example, uh, when you say, don't get into a running bus. Running bus, here we add ing at the end of run. And here the word running is indicating, uh, is used as an adjective, it modifies the word bus. So, running bus is a participle phrase. There are another kind of phrase, uh, verbal phrase or verb phrase. Here, uh, auxiliary verb plus main verb is equal to verbal phrase. Boys are playing in the field. Here, are playing is a verb phrase. Uh, here, uh, R is auxiliary verb and playing is the main verb. Another phrase is preposition or prepositional phrase. The structure of this phrase is preposition plus noun is equal to preposition phrase. Boys are playing in the field in the field in plus the field noun so in the field is a preposition phrase uh, this indicates a place there are some books on the table here uh, on the table is a preposition phrase on preposition plus the table noun The boy went to Dhaka with his father. Here, with his father is a preposition phrase. These are some important phrases uh, that we uh, often use uh, in boxes 